In this lesson, I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, doing the detailing, more of a demonstration than actually going through and detailing everything. But what we do is we open up our different callout views and we add detail components. Detail components are 2D um, families that we put specifically inside of here. Steel angles, anchor bolts, um, cant strips, blocking, um, all kinds of stuff. So let's have a look at some of the detail components that come built with Revit. You can also, of course, build a lot of your own families. So let's have a look. Um, under insert, we can say load family. Let's have a look and see what's in here first. Under families, we can see detail items. It's a special category. You've got columns and ceilings and conduit and doors and windows and all kinds of stuff. And inside of here, we're going to have all of our different detail components. You can see there's not much loaded in here at all right now. A brick and a beam, you know, a oh, couple of beam types and our little brake line. Dude. So detail items are 2D objects that we place in our detail views. We don't model every anchor bolt and every steel angle and every piece of blocking in Revit, but we do add them in our detail callout views like this. So let's go to insert and let's say load family. We're going, let's go to metric, let's go up one, US metric, detail items, and look, general site work, concrete, masonry, metals, wood, door and window stuff, specialty. So these are your 16 kind of um, divisions as far as um, components go in construction in the specification. So uh, let's go into, for instance, metals, double click in metals, metal fastenings. So we've got an anchor bolt head, you know, these are all little 2D items. Okay. And, and they're all can be a little bit different. They, some of them can have uh, different grips and controls on them. Okay, so we've got some um, anchor bolt stuff in there. Just as let's just bring something like this in. And, you know, I don't know. What else would we bring in here? One of these. And... Well, let's just bring that in to start with. Okay, so I've loaded that guy in, and in it comes right there, expansion bolt, dovetail, different sizes. So an M16, and then you can use your space bar to scroll around. However you want to place that, escape, escape. Once you have that little detail component in, some of them, you'll notice, will have different grips that you can stretch it. Okay, and... You can also use the bring front and send back. Because they're 2D items, you can layer them on top of each other. Okay, uh, let's go load family again. And let's go back to, again, our libraries, US metric. And let's go to, for instance, wood. So structural framing, wood, wood timbers, plywood web, joists. Let's do a shift click and grab all those. It's going to bring all those. Oh, boy. It all wants to know the different sizes. TJI. Let's bring this one in. Dimension lumber. Let's bring a couple of these in. Those are good. Those are good. 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 I'm just picking random sizes for each one of these, okay? Again, 2D items that we're gonna bring in, they're gonna show up down here in our detail items. And then what you do is you drag them in and you really have to kind of play around with them. I mean, some of them have uh, grips and controls where you can stretch the different sizes and diameters and, and edges. And some of them you really can't do, you know, a whole lot with. So, um, And I don't know where those went. What happened? Load family. Metric. Detail items. 
structural framing. Oh, that's why I didn't, I didn't load detail items. I loaded actual structural elements. Um, wooden plastics, okay? Those were model elements. They're going to show up actually down in here. I'll show you that. Um, rough carpentry, wood framing. These are more of what I was looking for. So let's bring these guys in, all of them. Boom. And... I'm just picking random sizes because they are 2D, right? So the side view has to be a separate family from the front view or length view. So I'm just picking different types that come with those families. And now I'm going to see more elements show up inside of here. And the ones that I, there they are, and the ones I had loaded just previously are actually down in here, uh, structural framing. Those are the other ones. These are 3D items. These are not detail items. So back to my detail items. Heavy lumber section, bring it in, and what, and what I'm going to do, again, I can use my space bar. I can place that guy. I can go in and draw a side view one. The side view one is different because what it does is it says, okay, draw side view and it's going to actually draw like a side view of a piece of wood. Uh, heavy timber top. This is the top view. So same type of thing showing the top view of that per piece of wood. Cut lumber section. Different size here. Bring that guy in. Another little piece of wood. So these are all different shapes and sizes of, you know, different wood components that I can place in there. Uh, load family. Let's go to detail items. And let's go to metals. Structural steel framing, structural joist, steel joist framing. Let's go in here. And let's pick a joist. See that these again 2D items. So let's grab this K series side, K series top, K series section. Boom, bring those guys in. Asking me for some sizes for each one. Good. This one will pick these guys. This one will pick these sizes. Gives me my nominal dimensions there. So my detail components is growing now because now I've got some uh, metal joist guys in here, K series. So there's my bar joist. So what is this? This is the sectional view. So put one of those there, okay? Uh, let's expand the, uh, my space here. Uh, maybe even a little bigger. And um, side view, okay, let's grab a 14 inch side view, click in there, and let's grab a top view. Top view is going to show linear, right? So this is the top view of a joist, the side view of a joist, and the sectional view. And you'll notice that you will get different grips and you might have a property in here for, you know, the seat height of it. Um, Bearing height, bearing right, bearing height, depth, top angle, lower. So some different properties in here that will then change this. But this is a 2D kind of joist. This is a 3D floor. Okay. So what we end up having here is a combination of, you know, my 3D curtain wall and my 3D floor and my 3D wall and brick and all that stuff. But then what you do is you superimpose your details into here. And I can say, okay, a line, you know, here to here, and, you know, a line here to here, and, you know, place a steel channel in there or a piece of blocking, say, create similar. Okay, and then, you know, space this around. 
and then I can zoom in and place that there and I say, oh, that's the wrong size. I can pick on here and say, you know, you're not a 50 by 100, you are a, you know, this size. Oh, right, that doesn't make sense, a different family type. But so what we've got here is a combination of 3D elements that have been created in our callout. And then what you do is you, you place 2D components inside of that callout and then you just start to label and dimension and produce your um, your um, callout view and then in the end we kind of clip this guy off and turn that away so I'm not going to go through and do all the detailing and everywhere but really that's kind of uh, how it goes create your callout and then add your 2d detail components and your dimensions to that callout. So it's a hybrid of 3D and 2D elements.